If you're considering joining TalkTalk Talk Broadband, you might be wondering whether or not they're any good. In this video, we've reviewed TalkTalk Talk Broadband to see if they're worth buying. We've assessed TalkTalk Talk based on their speeds, customer service, and value for money as a user of their Fiber 150 service. Before we begin, to learn more about our experience with TalkTalk, Talk, read our review of their Fiber 150 package, which is the first link in the description. In this article, we've discussed TalkTalk Talk Broadband in more detail and described more of our experiences with them as a customer. Let's get started. TalkTalk Talk has historically focused on broadband and calls packages, which is where they get their name from. However, in recent years, they've evolved to have much more of a focus on fibre broadband. At full fibre addresses, there are currently four packages available. Fibre 65, which offers 70 to 78 megabits per second, Fiber 150, which is what we're using, which offers 150 to 153 megabits per second. Fiber 500, which offers 517 to 526 megabits per second. And Fiber 900, which offers 875 to 948 megabits per second. If you can't get fiber to the premises broadband where you live, these options will look a bit different. You'll likely have the choice of Fiber 65 with a slightly slower download speed, or Fiber 35, which offers 38 megabits. In terms of add-ons and other benefits, TalkTalk Talk is quite basic. You might expect to be able to get a broadband and anytime calls package with TalkTalk, Talk, especially given how they advertise their calling plans on their website. In reality, you can't get a landline phone service with TalkTalk Talk if you live in a full fiber area. There are also TV add-ons advertised, but these aren't really worth looking at in our opinion. All TalkTalk Talk is doing is bundling Netflix or Now TV with your broadband. And for the price they offer, you might as well buy these services separately. You can also add a TalkTalk Talk TV hub, which is basically a TV box, but you'll still need to subscribe to other services to view content on it. There aren't any other freebies or other benefits offered with TalkTalk, Talk, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Simple broadband is often cheaper. We found TalkTalk Talk Broadband easy enough to set up and get live with. No engineer visit was necessary, although this might not be the case if you've never used full fiber broadband at your address before. The router arrived quickly in the mail and was also easy to set up. To get started, all we really had to do was plug and play. We received TalkTalk's old Wi-Fi hub router when we signed up. These days, you'll likely receive their upgraded Amazon router. This newer router is Wi-Fi 6 enabled and offers better signal and speeds than the old one. In saying this, we've been quite satisfied with TalkTalk's old Wi-Fi hub router. Although it doesn't offer Wi-Fi 6, it does come with 4 gigabit ethernet ports, which is plenty for us, and it's also offered good signal. We've been using this router in a medium-sized flat and haven't had the need to install any mesh Wi-Fi systems or use any Wi-Fi extenders, which is quite nice. If you were using this router in a larger house, you might want to boost your signal a bit, just so it reaches the far corners a bit more easily. The one issue we had with this router was when we first joined TalkTalk, Talk, the connection would drop out once or twice a month. In the short term, we could fix this by restarting the router, but the problem was quite annoying. Eventually, the issue fixed itself. We think that the router installed a firmware update, which resolved the problem. It's also worth noting, this router came with parental controls enabled by default, which we did find a bit weird. It took us a while to figure out how to turn these off, but it wasn't too difficult. As a Fiber 150 customer, we're paying for download speeds of between 150 and 153 megabits per second, with a minimum of 120 megabits. We're also paying for an upload speed of between 29 to 30 megabits per second. Most of the time, we get the advertised download and upload speeds on a consistent basis. We've never had any issues with slow speeds, and we don't suffer from evening congestion. Here is a typical Wi-Fi speed test result. It's a bit slower than advertised, but not by much. Using Ethernet, we see very similar results. Also, our latency remains nice and low, making the connection suitable for gaming. Overall, we're very happy with the speeds we receive from TalkTalk Talk Broadband. We get the download and upload speeds advertised, we don't suffer from evening congestion, and our latency is nice and low. We've only very rarely had to speak with TalkTalk Talk customer service in the few years that we've been a customer. However, when we have had to get in touch, TalkTalk Talk has been quite helpful. When we first joined, 
we had a landline phone service because TalkTalk Talk was still offering this by default, on their fiber packages. We weren't using the home phone, so we called TalkTalk Talk and asked if we could have this service removed to save some money. TalkTalk Talk was quite helpful here. They allowed us to remove the landline, allowing us to save a few pounds per month on our bill. We also tried to get in touch with TalkTalk's Talk live chat to resolve the issue with parental controls on the router. We found it difficult to reach someone using live chat, so we ended up calling them instead. Essentially, while their live chat hasn't been very good, we found TalkTalk's Talk customer service over the phone to be quite helpful. We also renewed our contract over the phone recently and found the process to be quite smooth. The sales rep didn't push us hard to upgrade our plan, which was nice. While our experience with TalkTalk Talk has been great so far, this isn't saying much if the price is no good. Fortunately, since TalkTalk Talk is quite a basic provider, their prices are very reasonable. We're quite happy with the monthly cost we pay for Fiber 150 when we compare it to the cost of similar plans from BT, Plusnet and Sky. If you look at their website, TalkTalk Talk also offers quite competitive prices on their ultra-fast fiber plans if you need faster download speeds. But for most households, we think that Fiber 150 offers the best value for money unless you really need these ultra-fast speeds. Also, TalkTalk Talk doesn't charge an upfront cost to most of their deals, which is a nice touch. To see what prices TalkTalk Talk is currently offering, you can find their best deals using the link in the written TalkTalk Talk review on our website. Click on our review using the first link in the description, then click through to the TalkTalk Talk website to see their best deals. There are a lot of things to like about TalkTalk Talk Broadband. In our experience, their customer service has been great, and they've also offered consistent download and upload speeds. Also, TalkTalk Talk offers good value for money, given the speeds on offer. The downside to TalkTalk Talk Broadband is it's quite basic. They're not the best provider to choose if you want a broadband and TV package, or a broadband and calls deal. Also, their more basic router that they offer on some slower plans is a bit outdated, given it doesn't come with Wi-Fi 6. However, in our experience with this router, it has performed quite well for us. To learn more about TalkTalk Talk Broadband, read our full review of their Fiber 150 deal, linked in the description. Also, if you're not sure about TalkTalk, Talk, read our Broadband Deals Guide, which you'll also find linked below. This article discusses some of the best broadband providers on the market right now, and explains the differences between each of their deals. Also, if you have any questions about TalkTalk, Talk, or you're a current customer and you want to share your thoughts, leave a comment below.